and I'm an actor from Chester in Cheshire, and I've been acting for, oh, crikey, nearly 10 years. I'm old, aren't I? <laughs> How did you get involved with Dead Walkers? I was involved in one of Phil's previous films, uh, Exorcist Chronicles, and he just contacted me and asked me if I'd like to get involved in this, and I said, yeah. So. And you've, you've worked on films before? Yeah, quite a few. I'm, I'm enjoying working on horror more, though. I think I'm doing a lot more horror films lately. What's been the best part of this experience? I don't know. It's not over yet. There's a day more of filming. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Okay. Other than acting, what do you do? Go on the internet and watch a lot of films. That's all I do, really. I've not got much of a life. Describe your perfect day. My perfect day? Ooh. I'm not too sure. It'd have to involve some kind of chocolate, I imagine. I don't know. Maybe a beach? I'm not sure. What's your favourite film? Dead Walkers. <laughs> <laughs> Who's been the greatest inspiration in your life? Oh, I've had a few. Um, acting wise, it used to be Xenia Zeberg and Doug Bradley. Doug Bradley was pinned in the Hellraiser films. You might not know Xenia Zeberg, she's a German actress that was famous for being in Lex, a Canadian sci fi from like years ago. Mainly because she's really versatile and really pretty, and people just used to see her as a sex symbol, but she's not. She's, she's more than that. So, she's an inspiration. She used to be. I don't really talk about her much these days, but... Ghosts and aliens, do you believe? Yeah, um, both for different reasons, though. Aliens, I'm not too sure about. I'd like to see a UFO. Um, ghost, 100%, yeah, ghost, 100% are real. Um, I think I've seen one, so, yeah. Fate or free will? Depends who it is. Uh, I'd like to believe in free will, but some things happen for a reason, I imagine. <laughs> okay. What's next for you? I've got two films that are meant to be starting any time now. I'm just getting... It's one of those occasions where they say, we'll be in touch in the next week with dates, so I'm just waiting. One of those is a horror anthology, and the other one is sort of like a slasher film, so they're starting any minute now. What's your greatest achievement? I don't know. I don't think I've achieved that much, to be honest. Uh, my greatest achievement... Um, I made some fruit loaf once that turned out okay. I was pretty impressed with that. Because usually I burn. Whenever I try baking stuff, it burns, but it turned out like shop-bought fruit loaf, so it was pretty good. Okay. Um, <laughs> where can we find you? You can find me at nathanhead.tv. I'm also on the Awesome Talent website. I'm on Facebook, but it's for friends and family, so don't add me unless you're good looking. And I'm on Twitter, Nathan Head. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I got a bit goofy though, sorry. I don't know what to say. <laughs>